Hi, I'm TR and this is my Mid-Century Ranch Home Renovation Project. So all right, we're ready to uh, start to roll the texture on the walls here in the living room. I have caulked around the windows. I caulked around the fireplace before I masked it. There's a special episode around masking. You can check it out. There's a link in the corner up here. But it's time to roll the texture on these walls in the living room. I got my mixer. I got me a bucket of water. I've already thinned this out. This is from yesterday when I did some skim coating with it. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix it up here real good. But not with this. And I need a battery. I thought it might. Yes. It's a little stiff. I think I want to add just a touch of water. Just a little. Like that much. Okay, so. Alright, so I've got a three inch roller here, three quarter inch nap. I'm going to use that to round all the windows and in the tight spots. And then I have this one, which I have used for quite a few days now, uh, doing this roll texture and adding and doing skim coating and roll texturing. I've been using this three quarter inch nap. These roller fillers will be linked in my Amazon store. So you'll find it in the description below. Um, so I rinse this out really well. And then just to be safe, I put it in this bag and I throw it in the fridge overnight. So I'm just going to flip out a little extra water, just loop it up, just scratch the trace that out of my leg. Okay, we are ready, let's get some light so you can see better. So now it's as simple as just taking this roller and it takes a bit with the, with the fresh one to get the mud to stick to it. But just get some mud on it. So this is pretty creamy. It's about like pancake batter. All right, I'm just gonna hook that there so I can repoint the camera over here. And then it's as simple as rolling it on the wall and kind of getting it to where you don't have quite so much mud. Because you're just leaving light texture. Now I'm going for a really light texture. So, still got a little bit too much mud up there. Let's come in here. Get this kind of lined out. So I'm gonna let that stand for just a few minutes. It'll start to get tacky. And then I can go back and put a little bit more on there. I'm not real happy with that just yet. I guess it's probably the difference between doing a skim coated wall and a painted wall. But it's doing pretty good over there. Yeah, we're gonna let that get tacky for a minute. So I'm just gonna do the trim around the trim here real quick and when I let me pull this over here so you can see it a little better and let's get some light up here so hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing there so I'm just getting it on the wall and then the last thing I do is is that I like to take and I like to pull it all down I think it gives you a better look. So I'm just going back here and kind of randomizing how it goes on the wall so that it's not too uniform. That's actually looking pretty good.
Now you know that I'm not going all the way down. That's going to be covered by trim anyway. So, so I'm just going to come back and kind of get this looking uniform now. I think I'm going to leave that stand for a minute. I'm keep forgetting to move my camera. <laughs> so I've gone back and kind of rolled over this again. I'm starting to really like the looks of this. See, I don't want a really heavy texture. And again, keep in mind, there's going to be a trim board here, so I'm kind of getting as close as I can up here. That is looking pretty good. So, one other thing is now that I've kind of got this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to wipe all that raw mud off of the uh, frame here and off the corn cornice up there. And I'm just going to come up here and I'm just going to carefully wipe the edge off. Towel's a little wet. Nice to have carpet you're going to throw away. So if you want to follow where we're at, I've got a link to a playlist right here that has all the episodes in order so you can catch up to right where we are today. Questions or comments are always welcome. I try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, finish to the uh, uh, rolling texture on the walls. <laughs> He's tired. Okay, so this is going to dry, and this is dry now, but it's going to be like sandpaper. Now, I didn't do a knockdown where when it's still wet, you come back and you drag your big knife over it, and you knock the, top, the high spots off. Uh, on a really heavy texture, that's oftentimes what they'll do. But since this is such a light texture, all you need to do now is go around and just scrape all the high spots off. So just gently with your knife. And scrape those high spots off. I should have a mask on though. It doesn't generate big or little teeny bits of dust, but it does generate dust. So this is a good idea. idea I gotta go around and scrape these walls but ding somebody just texted me so I, <laughs> I gotta go around text and text all these walls <laughs> uh, 
This boy's tired, it's hot. This is hot, sweaty, nasty work. You can see, definitely gonna take a shower after this. But I just gotta go around and touch up all these walls. There's a couple of wowzers. Uh, there's a spot here that lifted off. I'll come back and I'll just touch that up real quick. But pretty much we're ready to go here uh, with paint. And that'll be in our next episode. So if you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up. I always appreciate those. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, tell your friends if you're so inclined. I'd appreciate that. All the tools that I'm using in the videos are available in my Amazon store. Link is in the description below. Questions or comments? You think I've done something wrong? Well, it's a little late because this video is about 12 weeks past when I did it. So uh, it is what it is. By now it's painted and I'm actually living in it. Well, by the time you see this. Anyway, I'm rambling and I got a little bit of work yet to do before I can knock off for the day. So that's going to have to do it. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Till we get together for another episode of my mid-century ranch home renovation project. Peace.